Hello and welcome to your first look at the Simple One, the first electric scooter from Simple Energy. Now there's been a bit of a build up to this and it's been launched today at 1,9999 rupees X showroom. State wise on road pricing will differ according to the subsidies in each state, but they have given us quite a few numbers about this, so let's dive in for a bit of a closer look. Now there are a couple of things that are unusual about this scooter. For one, it's driven by a chain, which is rare because you usually see electric scooters that are either driven by hub motors or a belt drive system. The chain drive system is likely to be noisier than a hub motor or belt drive, but Simple says it has chosen it for its transmission efficiency as well as to keep costs low. Powering the one is a permanent magnet motor with a nominal output of 4.5 kW and peak power of 7 kW, which Simple says promises 0 to 40 kph in 2.95 seconds and that's rather rapid, even faster than something like the TVS NTOC Race XP. The second thing that's unusual is the battery system on this. Cumulative capacity is 4.8 kilowatt hours, but that's split between a fixed battery pack under the floorboard as well as a removable battery pack under the seat. It's 3.2 kilowatt hours under the floorboard and the rest of it is this pack here. As you can see, no switch or anything, you just pull it straight out. It's got connectors at the bottom there. Between the two battery packs, Simple Energy claims 203 kilometers in eco mode is their real world estimate, but under Indian driving cycle, it's 236 kilometers, which is damn close to the 240 kilometers that they promised. It's got four riding modes and the top speed in the fastest of those modes is 105 km an hour. In eco mode, you're looking at 45 to 48 kph. And switching between these modes is done through this 7-inch touchscreen that you see here. It offers most of the usual stuff that we've come to expect from electric scooters with geofencing and connected technology. Another unique and rather useful feature on the One is a built-in tyre pressure monitoring system, which is quite impressive at this price point. Simple gains 99% localization. I don't know how they calculate that, but the 1% that isn't localized are the cells in the battery pack, which come from South Korea. The rest of it, including the chassis and the underpinnings, are developed by Simple. There is a disc brake at either end, and uh, Simple says this is a patented design that they have developed themselves. Same for the rear monoshock, that there is a design patent for it, and they have developed it in association with an OEM. Despite the large battery capacity, the Simple One has a coated curb weight of 110 kilograms, which makes it a whole lot lighter than the Ola S1 Pro and only 2 kgs heavier than the Aether 450X. Underseat storage space is also impressive at 30 liters, and more importantly, even with the removable battery pack in place, you still have enough space to store an ECE approved full face helmet. If the numbers do convince you, bookings are already open for an amount of 1,947 rupees and Simple hopes to begin deliveries by the end of this year. The figures sound impressive, but we still have to ride this scooter to see what it's like. And there's also the matter of observing how smoothly this startup can bring its first product to market. Until then, what do you think of the Simple scooter and its specifications? Are they enough to convince you to go electric? Tell us in the comments.